Hello and welcome back to News Minutes, the 21st of September and right now it's time for a quick Diablo 3 news update. This is a pretty big one. Get comfortable. Blizzard has announced that they bring in Diablo 3 patch 1.0.5 to the public test realm soon. Oh, yes, and that said, a public test realm for Diablo 3 is in fact coming soon. To participate, you'll need to create a PTR account in your Battle.net account management and download the PTR client. Simple enough. The client seems to be around 8 gigs big and by the time this video goes up, I'm sure there'll be a whole lot of information up about it on the various community sites. Needless to say, there will be links below, so check them out if you're interested. Now along with this announcement, we were also given the full patch 1.0.5 notes. There are a lot of them, as I said, so get comfortable and let's have a look. The big features of the patch are the new Monster Power system and Infernal Machine event. With Monster Power, players can choose to increase the health and damage of monsters according to different power levels, and in return they will receive scaling bonuses to experience, as well as boosts to Magic Find and Gold Find, which will stack above the 300% cap. The option to increase Monster Power will be available to all players starting on level 1 in the quest selection window, and can be adjusted separately for normal, nightmare, hell, and inferno difficulties. The infernal machine can only be unlocked by the most powerful Nephilim, but once forged, the device can be used to open portals to special encounters featuring not one, but two bosses which have been augmented from their original versions, both in terms of difficulty and appearance. Defeating each boss pair will provide players with extra items, gold, as well as the chance to find components for a new legendary ring. Sounds pretty exciting. Now with those big ones out of the way, let's have a peek at the notes proper. The big general changes include that resplendent chests now operate similarly to elite packs in Inferno difficulty, in that they are both affected by and reward Nephilim Valor. Major in-game events will now also grant a stack of Nephilim Valor and be affected by it. Two new shrines have been added to all difficulty levels, the Empowered Shrine that provides increased resource regeneration and reduced cooldowns, and then the Fleeting Shrine will give players increased movement speed and pickup radius. There were a few changes and improvements made to the AI of followers, pets and summon creatures, crowd control was tweaked a little and much more. Then the Auction House changes. I won't be covering these here fully, but I can tell you with much surety that things were changed, fixed and improved. That's all you need to know. In the Battle.net section, a new item delivery service has been added that will allow Blizzard to send items directly to players. Players can now link achievements in chat and your chat box can now be further customized. Now, class changes. Pretty much every single skill on every single class has been changed. There you go, that's it. Now you don't even have to look at the patch notes. The biggest thing to keep in mind is that the changes discussed in last week's developer journal on defensive bonuses and monster damage are being applied in this patch. I suggest just going through the changes for the class that you play instead of reading every single one. You can obviously find them all in the post link below. In the crafting changes, crafting materials can now stack up to 500. Jeweler designs that drop in the world will now show up as rare quality to make them more visible on the ground. And finally, crafting reagents and tomes of training can now be converted up to the next highest level at the blacksmith and jeweler at a ratio of 10 to 1. In the follower, item and monster changes, fixes and improvements, there are at least a few interesting ones worth mention. The location of legendary items will now be marked by a column of light as well as a ping on the minimap the first time they drop, and a new drop sound has been added for them. Items below item level 58 no longer drop in Inferno difficulty. It's about time. Square quality gems also no longer drop in Inferno difficulty. Damage and health of monsters from level 50 to 63 have been reduced to coincide with the addition of monster power and much, much, much more. If you are truly interested in this patch and the notes of it, you're gonna have to check them all out for yourselves below. I will say that I personally am really looking forward to some of these changes. And I do think that Blizzard are on the right track once again. Sure, it would have been great if the game launched like this. But hey, the fact that it's happening now really is good enough for me. They're working hard and it's showing for sure. So again, read all about Diablo 3 patch 1.0.5, the PTR and a whole bunch of other stuff below and let me know what you think about all of it. If that wasn't enough, Blizzard have let us know that Appear Offline mode is coming soon to Battle.net and there's an amazing video to watch about the voice actors of Diablo 3. Definitely worth a watch and listen, of course. That's it for this episode, check back here soon for more, like the video and do all that other good stuff and most importantly, happy waiting for that PTR to come up. Happy that.